WVUA's Travis Leader joins me now. Travis, you've really gone all over South Florida trying to bring the folks back in West Alabama just a little taste of what uh, the experience is like down here. Yes, and tonight I think I got something good for you guys. <laughs> you know, the, um, we went to the Vizcaya Museum and Gardens, and this century-old house is a historic landmark, not only in Miami, but it's also registered within the U.S. Registry of Historic Landmarks. Now, while this house is very unique, the acres of gardens outside this building are even more picturesque. I spoke with Deputy Director of Advancement Dennis Fruitt during our tour of the property. First off, Dennis, tell us uh, just a little overview of this um, beautiful building that we have behind us. Sure. Vizcaya was built by James Deering, and he decided that uh, he was going to recreate an estate that resembled the types of estates that you would have found in the Tuscany region of Italy. So that's why it has the style that it does. We got a lot of people here today, I already yes. see, and it's very steady. You must have a lot of people from around the world that show up here. We do. Um, in the course of a year, we welcome a little over 180,000 visitors, um, many of whom, about 15%, uh, come from countries outside of the United States. Now let's talk about the gardens. Obviously, um, maybe even more of a highlight than the actual building itself. Uh, talk about the gardens and how, how did it become so vast and lush? His vision for the gardens was that uh, they would be exterior rooms, uh, gardens that you would migrate from one to another with the beautiful central garden uh, in the French Italian style leading up to what's known as the Garden Mound. But you're right, the gardens are just as spectacular as the, the main house is. If you had to make a pitch as to why they should come here and visit, what would you say? Well, uh, uh, Vizcaya is one of those enchanted uh, estates, historic uh, sites in America. So if you're a fan, of uh, architecture, history, and art, and gardens, here's the place to be. And you know, Daniel, it costs about $5 million annually just wow. to maintain that building every single year, so you can tell how big that thing is. <laughs> That's a lot for upkeep. Well, I appreciate it, Travis.